and it has taken me a really long time to finally get this working again. I can't really explain why, but here I am. I haven't done a Let's Play in quite a while, so I thought we were long overdue. And if it feels like I'm yelling, it's because I am. The headset I'm using to capture the audio, I have to really speak up. It doesn't have an external microphone. The microphone is built into the speaker, so if I don't speak a little louder, well, you're not going to hear me. What am I doing? I've been doing this for a little while now. World of Warcraft has these new races called the Allied Races, and each side, the Horde and the Alliance, get an Elven type faction, so those are the ones that I always stream to unlock because Elves are my favorite type of race to play. Now I've unlocked the Elves for the Alliance, now I'm unlocking the Elves for the Horde. And basically I have to quest in this one zone until I do all the storyline quests and then I gotta do the world quest which is like the new daily quest. They pop up randomly every day, um, multiple times a day actually, though sometimes the time is shorter. And if you do them you get reputation with the faction that you need to unlock in order to unlock that faction. I just came from doing a daily quest, well, a world quest, and now I'm trying to figure out how to get out of here. Why isn't he helping me? I'm in my warlock, this is my main character. She's Horde, um, and she's always been my number one character, no matter what expansion we're in, and I don't know, for some reason this guy here, my blueberry, he's like a demon that helps me, he's not helping me right now. So, I don't know. I'm trying to get out of here. I don't... I'm a little bit lost. And the right side is, though, I'm level 114. The new level cap is 120. And I am not really affected by the mobs here. The mobs are the, you know, bad guys. Because I am much higher level than they are. Well, not much higher, but higher enough that... It's not going to be an issue. I think I just found a portal that, that can get me out. Hold on. Hold on. What, what's this way? <clears throat> I'm just trying to get out of here. I'm so lost. I think I can get out this way. Can I get out this way? Ah, oh, no. I think that's where I came from. Okay, listen. There's a portal right over there, so I'm just going to take the portal because otherwise I will be here forever. Why is this so complicated? How did you, like, I got in there by accident. I was looking at it from above, and then I just sort of fell in. Oh, my goodness. There's a portal back there, too? I feel so stupid. All right, whatever. Let's go. Now, okay, I'm going to show you guys on the map here, these guys, the kind of exclamation points with circles around them, these are the world quests. These are the ones that pop up. Like, look, this one only has four minutes left, so I'm not going to make it. But that's okay, because another one's going to come in its place. So those are the world quests, and they're the dailies that pop up every day, and they'll give me the reputation. As you can see, there's a grayed out uh, word under the word enigmatic that says Kirin Thor, and that is the faction this quest is for, so I'm not going to do that one. But I am going to do this one. Under Honoring the Past, you see the Night Fallen, and the Night Fallen is a faction that I do need to become exalted with in order to unlock the new elves. The regular exclamation points are the storyline quests of the zone, and this whole zone, Suramar, is the one that I need to complete and then do the world quests in with the Night Fallen to unlock the elves for the faction. Um, I don't necessarily have to do the quests on a horde character to unlock them for the horde because this is not a horde zone this is a contested territory but um, it's easier to do the quest on a higher level character obviously because they're 110 so you're not going to want to do them as a 110 it's going to take you much longer to kill everything but all in all you know the other faction I had to work with to unlock the elves was in the Broken Isles on Argus, and it was a very crappy zone. It was boring and ugly and just green, green, green everywhere. This zone is beautiful. It's like endless autumn, and autumn's my favorite season, but if you guys could just look around with me, 
it's so lovely here and I hope you guys can hear the music playing the music is also really beautiful Suramar is lovely um it's it's just I don't know it's it's I don't mind coming back here every day and doing the same quest over and over because it's so pretty that it makes up for it it completely makes up for it I'm going to show you guys around um, I'm going to be doing some quests and taking you guys with me but I'm also going to try to just let you guys see what this place looks like as I'm doing them <clears throat> so you can enjoy the beauty with me Stuff is going to aggro onto me all the time. And for those that don't know, aggro means, um, I guess it's literally the word aggravate, when you aggravate an enemy character and it chases you. But what it really means is for it to just, um, for you to, uh, how do I say this? What's the word I'm looking for? Provoke it. There we go. When you provoke an enemy by going too close to it, It'll aggro onto you and try to attack you. Look how pretty! Let me see if I can show you guys that ridge there. We can go down there, but if I go down there, it's going to be really hard for me to come back up. So, and I don't need to go that way, but I'm just going to show you guys. Ooh. Right now in the game, it's about, it's 8.59 in the morning. So it's just like early morning sunlight hitting the slopes. It's still weak. <clears throat> There's no seasons in the game. Not the way uh, you and I are used to. Every zone has its own permanent type of season. So here, I guess, it's permanent fall. Well, and I guess maybe summerish? Because, I mean, I wouldn't really call the colors here very folly. Okay, so see, I'm close enough to the world quest now. And you see this little text above and it's talking. It automatically activates when you're close enough to do it and just goes into your quest log. See right here, world quest, and the one that I unlocked is called Honoring the Past. So I'm gonna do that quest now. What do I gotta do? I gotta activate 10 monuments. So I'm gonna go in here with all these harpies. This used to be a, um, well, let's see. What does it look like? Oh, cool, I got a green. These little balls that are going to pop up sometimes, they, they look like balls of liquid or balls of shadow. They're from a trinket that I have equipped on my character, and when I walk through them, they give me additional power. But um, this, I think, used to be a temple for the Night Fallen Elves, which is the, the faction I'm trying to unlock. And Because you can see the architecture is very elven. It has the sigil of the moon everywhere, which is the goddess, the moon goddess. Um, little moon well type things right here. This guy is, look how pretty. It's still all sparkling. There's a harpy sitting on top of it. Like, this is mine now. I wish everything just didn't aggro onto me or like, I wish I could just remove the mobs for a second just to like, show you guys, just run around and not have everything attack me so I could show you how it looks, but um, I forgot to speak loudly for a second, so I really hope everything was still recording just now. But anywho, um, yeah, let's just do a look, see around. It's very, very pretty here. It's it's quite lovely. I'm gonna zoom in on her so you could just look at that. Minus, of course, the harpiness on the right there. But look at that. Look how pretty. And there's my blueberry. Hi Zagrath, wait for the camera. He doesn't care. <laughs> yeah. So, like I said, this used to be a night fallen temple, and what I'm doing here now is activating monuments to honor the past because it's overrun with enemies and the night elves cannot do it themselves, so they rely on me, their champion, of course, to do it for them. Now you see the yellow guys here, they're not going to disturb me. Only mobs that have red will attack you if you get too close to them. Yellow ones will not. They won't attack you unless you attack them. So there's that. Because they're not necessarily enemy mobs, they're just sort of there. <clears throat> okay, there you go. I just activated one of the monuments. I got nine more to go. 
Hopefully they're not too far apart. You see, I, you can see them glowing in the distance. There's one right over there. I don't think you guys can see where my mouse points to. So, oh look, there's two like right next to each other. I'm going to aggro a lot of mobs all the time. So I'm just going to round these guys up and get rid of them all in one go. So I don't have to worry about it. Oh, they ran away. Yeah, it's not that I'm particularly powerful, it's just that I'm stronger than the enemies that are here, so it's easier to kill them. More often than not, if they aggro onto me, I don't even really have to kill them. I'll just, I can just run away and they'll stop attacking after a while, because they don't even do any damage to me. They just miss constantly. Oh, that's such a pretty flower. I wish I could pick it up. You can actually um, pick up this flower. Look at it. I don't know if you could see the marker, but maybe you could see the text when I have it over it. Starlight Rose requires herbalism. If you have the herbalism profession, you can actually pick this flower up. And it's really pretty. It's like a translucent blue rose. I love it. I don't have herbalism, unfortunately, so I cannot pick it up. But what I am going to pick up is this big chunk of mana. <clears throat> uh, these guys give me ancient mana, um, which is like a currency of sorts. And we use this currency in this zone to do additional runs in this little instance thing that was created by the Nightfallen. For you to gain experience, well not experience, but for you to gain status. I feel like the, the more I'll do that thing, the quicker I, oh no, he aggroed. The, the more I'll do that run, the quicker I'll get to exalt it. I can just do that run over and over and over. As long as I have ancient mana to pay to get in there. And <clears throat> at the end of the run, you get this massive chest and inside the chest, there is a like a an item that will give you up to a hundred reputation with the night fallen. So I keep gathering the nodes and getting this ancient mana to keep doing the run to keep getting the items that will give me the reputation. And you know, as long as I have mana, I can technically do that stuff indefinitely so I can get my reputation up faster. It's not really fair that there was no equivalent of anything like that in the other zone with the other faction, so it was just misery over there. In retrospect, I was going to record that for you guys as well, but it just it wasn't working and you didn't need to see that. Oh, look, somebody died here. This is a memorial. Here lies Liliana Meadowblade. Her blade was second to none and flowed through her foes like a blade of grass dances in the wind. Anu Dora, we remember. Yeah, definitely a temple. There's another one over there. Oh, good, I can read it too. Here lies Dorendil Wildcaller. Nature and society called to him alike, and he was one of the first to speak with the hippogriffs. His legacy lives on in our eternal kinship with them. Anu Dora, we remember. Well, that's cool. I didn't know that. See, I love little things like that. I love to find stuff like that around the game. You never know what cute little secret you're going to unlock. Look how pretty these steps are. Everything here is so pretty. Okay, how many monuments? I need five more monuments. Where are you? Oh, there's a cave. Maybe there's something in there. Let's look inside. Am I going too far? I don't think there's any monuments in here, but... Oh boy. Yeah, I'm about to aggro this entire cave, but I just want to see what's in here. Anything else besides mushrooms? Maybe a rare spawn? Oopsie. What is that sound? It's like a rumble. Like a permanent low rumble. Hold on, let me get rid of these guys. They're making too much noise. You guys probably just hear a non-stop miss, 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 miss. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Wow, really? That didn't kill it? Okay. Alright. Silence. 
Okay, no rumble, but like a low, like a low whoosh of air. What's in there? I didn't mean to take Al on a detour, but oh, there is a rare spawn. Oh wait, no, but he's above ground, not in the cave. Garvalg. Hmm. All right, I kind of really want to keep going though. I want to see what's in here. Oh wait, I can go up there. Let's see if it lets me. I'm just gonna go deep enough to see the end of the cave and see if there's anything. Yeah, no, there's nothing in there. Okay, we're going around. Look at the cute little mushrooms. Look how purple. And look at these crystals. Oh, everything's so purple. I love it. Okay, now that I've seen that there is a rare spawn somewhere behind or above this cave, I'm going to try to get to him. Rare spawns are elite monsters that are rare. It's self-explanatory. They'll have a silver dragon around their head instead of a gold dragon. Gold dragon is basically, you know, strong monster, gonna hit like 10 times as hard, you usually need a group to take them down. And then there's the ones with the silver and they hit, they don't hit as hard, but they'll drop better treasures and they're not always around. Sometimes you gotta look for them. If I could fly, I would just go up there, <laughs> but there's no flying yet. Well, there is, but not for me. <laughs> yeah. I'm a lazy bum. I didn't like play this expansion at all and I never unlocked the flying. Come on, monuments, where are you? Ooh, treasure chest. Look! Cool. Wow. That was nice. There's always treasure chests around in the world. Um well rather there has always been treasure chests in World of Warcraft, but the way they were reintroduced in the Mist of Pandaria expansion have become, I guess they made them more useful. They've started hiding um, currencies in them instead. So like, instead of opening a little box and getting like a piece of cheese, literally like you've got a piece of cheese, you'll get like a bunch of resources for something like, oh, see, shadow circle. Like, for example, just now I got some ancient mana, which I use as a currency for doing runs here. And I also got order resources, which is the currency for this expansion. Order resources is what you use for your garrison. And I don't really need them anymore. But it doesn't hurt to have them if I decide to go back and, you know, do some, do some stuff. <clears throat> oh, that's a big one. I have little nodes all over the place for ancient mana, but right now I'm doing the quest, so I'm not really hunting them. If you ever see on this little circle map in the bottom of my screen here, I know it's like almost the center of my screen, but I had to lift it because that stupid eternal banishment thing was blocking it. Um, you'll see, like you can see them right now, you see three little blue dots, and those are all bits of ancient mana shards. You can see them, the little purple guys right there. For me to pick up and get more ancient mana. But like I said, because I'm working on the quest right now, and I'm not trying to take forever, because you guys are watching, you're going to get bored. So I'm not picking them up along the way. But they're all right over here. See? There's one right here. And there's one right here. And they pop up on my mini map as little blue circles. If I want to get more. <coughs> Okay, I need three more monuments and I'm done. Look how pretty. I mean, even though it's ruins, it's still just, ah, it's gorgeous. Let's just overlook from this balcony. I just want you guys to see how beautiful it is. Hold on, I'm going to try to jump up. Okay. Look at that! That is the lost city of Suramar. You can see it from the temple here. Oh, that up there? That's Dalaran. And this is all Suramar. Isn't it beautiful? Now you can't see a lot of details from up here, but... Yep. Oh, 
the beauty of this game honestly just never ceases to amaze me. It just gets better and better. Every expansion. What's this? Oh, cool. Ooh, look! That's so cool! It gave me like a stat buff, but it also turned me into a Nightfallen Elf. Now you guys can see kind of what they look like. It's all like see-through, but yeah, this is the race that I'm trying to unlock. This is what my character is going to look like when I make one. But you know, not, not, not see-through. <laughs> You're going to be able to see her. That's so cool. I got to be one for a little bit. I got this buff up here called Spiritual Infusion. It increases my haste and movement speed by 10% and also turns me into this for two minutes. Yay. Okay. I need more monuments. I feel like I'm back where I started. Um, but yeah, I need more monuments. Where should I go? There's got to be some more around here somewhere. Whoa, there's a quest here. Hello. Oh, okay. Well, I might as well. Don't worry. I'm not going to make you guys, like, sit through it. I'm just going to show you the monuments. <laughs> Is it's gonna take a lot longer. Oh wait, there's more. Did I not pick it up? I said accept. What's over here? Nothing. Wait a minute. What? Oh, look, when I go a certain way, this this thing is glitching through it. When I look at it like that, it's fine, but from the side. Oh, eh, see, you see? Ah, ah! Glitching flower. Alright, anyway, sorry. Don't mind me. I'm easily amused. Anywho. I feel bad I didn't see him before. I could have been doing this quest the whole time. Oh, okay. I gotta find more monuments. Where am I gonna go? Maybe if I go this way. I, didn't, I don't think I went this way before. I went, I went straight. Now I'm gonna go left. Of course, now I'm gonna be like, here's the other quest. I gotta do it. Sorry. It's not going to deter from what I'm already doing, I promise. He wants me to pick up a bunch of these, I don't know, like, roots? And kill, like, a bunch of the harpies. They don't belong here, really. They're not supposed to be here. They kind of took over this place when it became abandoned and made it their own, but that doesn't mean it's theirs. I mean, they don't know that. Harpies are not very intelligent creatures. And <clears throat> the withered here, the ones that I've been killing, the little zombie dudes, I have a little story to tell you guys. They're actually the night fallen. So I'm going to give you guys a really, really quick backstory. Like every type of elf in Azeroth and beyond, Elves have a problem with magic, and by problem, I mean like a drug problem. Magic is like a drug to them, and they become addicted to it, and they can't live without it. They literally cannot live without it. It's not like, oh, well, you know, I'll stop using magic and I'll get clean. No, they stop using magic and they wither away, turn into these guys, the one that's attacking me, and then they die. Yeah, they can't just not use magic. So, I know it's kind of sad and depressing and awful, but unfortunately, that's how... I guess this is Blizzard's way of showing something from the real world, like drug addiction and incorporating it into the game. There's drug addiction in the game, but not in the way we would be used to. There's another monument here. Here lies the Wind Strikers, marksmen without peer, their skill with the bow was an inspiration to generations of archers. Their family developed the gauntlets the sentinels wear, carefully articulated male links that empower our archers to this day. A new Dora, we remember. I'm learning all these things. Anywho, so yeah, when when the elves become withered, and this is what we're looking at right here. You see this feral scavenger, this one over here? They become withered. They become hostile. 
no matter whether it's their own peers uh, coming to them or a stranger like me they'll just attack you and they'll try to suck the magic out of you like I'm a warlock I'm a great target for these guys lore speaking because I am a magic user so what they would do is they would attack me and they would suck the magic out of me and get their fix so you know I definitely got to kill them before they kill me but um yeah that's kind of the issue and that the thing is all the elves in Azeroth have this problem either magic comes from different sources different wells or whatever but it all ultimately brings them the same thing while they have it they prosper but when it's taken away from them they start to die it's interesting it's like I kind of like the fact that Blizzard incorporated this real world thing into the game and made and gave its own little spin for it but I'm gonna go ahead and hang out here some more I hope you guys have learned some interesting things today saw some beautiful zones uh, I will be continuing to do more stuff with World of Warcraft now that I finally got in this place to work not this place this program I appreciate you guys tuning in please subscribe to my channel I put out new videos every Tuesday and Friday if you enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe hit the bell so you know when I put out another awesome gaming video such as this I will see you next time Bye.